Linux Air Combat version 5.63 video review. Linux Air Combat is a new, free, open source combat flight simulator for the Linux community. This is a review of version 5.63 from February of 2018, representing a culmination of three years of development work. Prior versions changed rapidly as features and aircraft were abandoned. With this version, Linux Air Combat, or LAC, has completed its primary design and coding phase, and although aircraft artwork, sound effects, and a few other details are likely to continue making incremental improvements, all of the future versions are expected to remain true to the basic outlines in this review. Although other flight simulators have long been available for Linux, LAC is unique because it runs nicely even on modest PCs, because the source code is very clean, well organized, and is built entirely on a foundation of well-known, popular, universally supported, open source components that are available on virtually every popular distribution of Linux. As a result, although many people won't ever need to compile it, LAC is so easy to compile that even people that have never compiled anything before are reporting success within an hour or two. And it can form the basis of study for youngsters that want to grow into a career as a computer programmer, de developing high performance, graphically intense, um, network-centric simulators. LAC is a product of the people that publish the well-known AskMrWizard.com website, and comprehensive documentation about LAC is prominent there. LAC's primary web page includes sections on downloading, installing, configuring, and even compiling LAC for those that want to customize it. Because all of those subjects are so well covered on the website and within several comprehensive YouTube playlists, we won't be repeating them here, but we will pause from time to time with a reference to one of those video clips to help you find the associated details. Hardware requirements. First, let's talk about compatibility. LAC's hardware demands are modest. Any PC built since about 2007 and powerful enough to run any modern version of Microsoft's Windows operating system ought to be able to, to, run, to run Linux Air Combat on any of the popular Linux desktop distributions. For example, it runs very, very well on 10-year-old Intel Core 2 Duo or later processors with a minimum of 1 GB of RAM. LAX graphics have deliberately been kept simple, so it can be run without a gaming class video card. Users have reported excellent results, even on old laptop computers equipped only with basic, low-cost Intel motherboard graphics. In those situations, you'll want to configure LAC to operate in one of its low-resolution modes like 640x480 or 800 by 600, etc., and at one of the three lower graphic detail levels from the five levels available. Now, this just means that you won't see as many trees or shadows as those who may have spent an extra $80 or so for their video card. On the other hand, if your PC is equipped with even a modest NVIDIA or ATI accelerated graphics card, you will be able to crank the resolution and video quality up as high as your card can support, and a lot more details will become visible. This review is now showing LAC running on a $500 PC with a modest NVIDIA graphic card at the highest level of detail and at 1080p resolution. That's 1920 by 1080 pixels. Linux Air Combat is intended for use with a joystick as your primary flight control tool, but it does work pretty well even if you don't have a joystick. In that case, you can just use your PC's mouse to simulate an airplane's joystick to control your ailerons, elevators, and weapons. Here, then, is a picture showing the standard control layout. As you can see, it is based on a standard PC keyboard, numeric keypad, and the popular low-cost Logitech Extreme 3D Pro joystick. It's very easy to adapt this to some other joystick, or to fly with just a keyboard and mouse. Whether you're using a joystick or a mouse, you can easily configure each of your available keyboard keys, buttons, and access motions to control any of 45 powerful flight functions and 16 different voice communication functions, so, so you will be able to set up all of your controls to your liking. LAC users will also want to be able to hear LAC's sound effects, and they'll want to be able to speak to one another across the internet. Any sound card that's compatible with Linux ought to work out just fine. Complete your LAC sound setup with a basic headset and microphone. The feature set. Linux Air Combat includes all of the basic features expected by modern fans of the flight simulation genre. Although the graphics and sound effects are 
somewhat sparse by today's standards, they are adequate to the task, and certainly good enough to inspire an active imagination into a credible flight session, and the sensation of flight is unusually smooth. 61 flight, view, and communication functions, each of which can be mapped to any keyboard key, joystick button, or appropriate joystick or mouse axes, allow computer pilots to immerse themselves in the joy and mirth of simulated flight with breathtaking relish. Overall, LAX features compare favorably with Windows-based flight sims from the genre's classic period, like Combat Flight Simulator 2, or Air Warrior 3, or Aces High 1, or Warbirds. One of the most important considerations of any computer-based flight simulator has to do with the view system, or the way the computer pilot is able to turn his virtual head and look forward, backward, left, right, up, or down. By default, LAC is pre-configured to support the classic industry standard Air Warrior view system, allowing the pilot to switch instantly between those views using appropriate geometrically arranged keys based on the numeric keypad. This is the same kind of view system that has been in common use by most flight sims for the past 20 years, but it can be completely reconfigured for pilots that are accustomed to some other layout. For example, it is trivial to change that default view system to rely on the joystick's hat switch instead. LAC now models 53 aircraft from World War II. LAC's main YouTube playlist includes a separate little video tour introducing all of those aircraft grouped by country of origin. You might want to take a look at that. The flight model details are still being tuned up, but top speeds, climb rates, roll rates, turning rates, durability, and the lethality of the respective weapons are all credible and typically compare well with the best available historic records. The developers report that historic accuracy is best when flying at low and medium altitudes and that flight performance becomes a little less accurate as altitudes increase beyond 20,000 feet. As in classic real-world aircraft, lax flight controls generally begin to feel heavy at extremely high speed, with some aircraft suffering more than others from this compressibility effect. For example, the early war P-38F Lightning becomes almost uncontrollable in a high-speed dive, but the late war P-38L version can recover from that condition by activating the very same simulated dive flap that was used in the actual aircraft. Flight performance tends to increase with altitude as thinner air and correspondingly diminished air resistance interacts with various types of superchargers that are able to scoop enough air into thirsty engines to sustain full power up to their respective height limits. Eventually, above those limits, even the aircraft with the best superchargers begin to wheeze and gasp for air, resulting in diminished performance. Some of the simulated, some of the simulated aircraft are equipped with speed brakes or dive brakes that can help them to suddenly decelerate or at least to maintain reasonable control at extreme speeds. Some are equipped with war emergency power settings that are capable of extracting the utmost power from their engines for a few minutes at the cost of massive fuel consumption and the likely need for an overnight overhaul by the ground crew afterward. Some are equipped with primitive single level flaps while others are blessed with several levels of flaps. Some are equipped with tail gunners and some absolutely bristle with defensive guns automatically firing as needed toward airborne threats in all directions. And exactly as one might expect, all of the aircraft that can lug heavy bombs or rockets suffer diminished performance until they can shed this extra weight. All of these differences are kept historically accurate according to the best available records. Lack's cockpit is completely standardized. No matter what kind of airplane you choose to fly, the cockpit will look exactly the same for the selected mission. Furthermore, LAC's instruments look more like a modern digital glass cockpit than a World War II warbird. That choice has helped make it easier to learn LAC than other sims that move instruments around to match each simulated aircraft. It also contributes to LAC's remarkably high frame rate and the silky smooth sensation of flight. A YouTube video is available from within the main LAC playlist that provides a comprehensive tour of the cockpit. 
This is going to be a tour of the cockpit panel and instruments in Linux Air Combat. I'm